Hello and welcome back to another round of combat mission. The new module just dropped yesterday. It's called Fire and Rubble for um, the Eastern Front game. And uh, I decided to start with a really small scenario just to get my groove back. And after that I will decide what to do next. Anyway, in this scenario I am in command of some Russian partisans, as you can say, with their civilian clothing here. And um, the task is to look for German troops. Now, since the map is relatively small, I'm pretty sure they will be in this hamlet here. But um, let's see if that's true. So, uh, basically, this scenario is set uh, during Operation Bakration, and we have already defeated the Germans. They are just stragglers that are behind our lines and now our partisans have to hunt them. We will get reinforcements with more partisans later and with those we can root out the Germans, hopefully. For now I will uh, move through the forest slowly deploy my snipers forward at the edge of the forest uh, to already get some eyes on uh, the probable German positions and then later we will wait for more partisans to arrive so we can attack in one go. These are, I have two of these snipers and basically a squad of partisans. I will get all in all two platoons of partisans, which is not a lot to attack a village in my opinion. So, um, I will probably end up waiting, maybe skirmishing a bit with the Germans to see where they are and then waiting for more partisans to arrive so I can do one big assault instead of attacking piecemeal, which would be stupid. As soon as they get close to the edge of the forest, they should start using the hunt command. And, uh, yeah, which means they will stop once they see the enemy. Partisans are equipped very lightly. I don't think they have uh, light machine guns, although we do have SMGs, including uh, and captured weapons as well. But all in all, this is not really um, an effective assault force, not to mention that they're not necessarily well trained. So we will see how much we can actually do with them. Okay, the snipers are going forward. I think from here... You can already see some of the village buildings. Um, could we flank around somewhere? I mean, there's a bit of, of desolate here, but not a lot. I, d I have decided to send the partisan squad kind of around this flank here through the forest, hopefully deep enough in to not attract fire and then crawl up to here because this seems to be like the closest route to the Germans where we can uh, use our SMGs, which is our big advantage because the Russian SMGs obviously a bit better than the German ones due to the high magazine quick fire rate. So yeah, these guys are going over there. The Germans themselves apparently, as I said, are stragglers, so probably not too well equipped either. S certainly have no tanks. Worst case scenario is probably if they have uh, like a heavy machine gun or even a mortar in support. That would really screw us up. Okay, here's our sniper. I think he can at least see this and this building from here and give fire support should they open up. Now, I'm going to assume that not a lot is going to happen in this first part of the scenario, so because of that I will uh, use that to talk a little bit about, um, well, first of all, about this expansion pack. As I said, called Fire and Rubble, and it basically goes f up until the end of the war. I think the original base game has stuff up until, I want to say, September 44. And uh, this goes up to the end of the war. Now this obviously is in a time frame that was still covered by the base game, but it also adds partisans for the Russians and the Germans. Well, I mean the German ones are not partisans in that sense, but more like the militia, you know, the Volkssturm. 
and it also adds other branches of German troops that I, I guess, kind of new. Well, they are new on the Eastern Front, but you know, other games already have Waffen SS stuff. But yeah, that kind of thing. There's also new Russian formations. Uh, well, you know, in addition to the part of them, namely Land and Lease stuff. Uh, I know there's Sherman tanks in here right now, and all the other American slash British help stuff. And um, yeah, there's actually quite a few campaigns, although some of them are like mini campaigns. And I really want to do a campaign next, maybe. It's been a while since I... Well, actually, that's not completely true. I did the Celino campaign for the Fortress Italy module. One of the first campaigns I did as a video in general was actually in Red Thunder. Might have even been the first, which was the Band of Comrades campaign, <laughs> which was basically the Russian campaign of the base game. So I guess it would be cool to make a Band of Comrades 2 with one of the two new Soviet campaigns. I know one of them is with tanks, which would be a nice uh, change of pace. Talking of a uh, change of pace, our platoon HQ arrived together with their own squad. And uh, I think we will move a bit quicker now, maybe getting some fire from the Germans, but also revealing their positions, hopefully. I guess that's our boss here. Um, so yeah, maybe I will do that Russian campaign. Although, you know, if people really want to see the uh, German campaign uh, first, maybe write it in the comments or whatever. Sometimes I read those. Now, uh, in general, there's also a second shorter Russian campaign that is, as far as I know, all about fighting in Berlin and storming the uh, Reichstag, which could also be cool. Although, uh, I kind of want to play with tanks for a change. So, yeah. Oh, okay, so we took some fire from one of the buildings. So we did find the Germans where we basically thought they would be. So far, we haven't spotted them. My snipers are kind of an overwatch. Let's see if we can root them out. I split up this squad so that the platoon HQ stays behind and let the others go forward. Okay, we are taking submachine gun fire. But we're in desolate here, so if we're lucky, we can pop up basically in front of them here and submachine gun them. Although obviously this will expose us to some of the other buildings, but yeah. Well. So far we're not shooting back because we don't see anything yet. These guys I've told them to run as well, in part to draw more fire. Okay, we spotted the Germans. Seems to be normal German troops. I hope my snipers at some point will be able to spot them. I don't think they're firing yet. This would maybe be a good angle to attack. Yeah. So my platoon HQ will give some covering fire. Although the best weapon for that they have is an SVT rifle, so that's not great. Still. Should maybe keep their heads down a little bit. And we have a bit of desolate here, so we can hopefully get in close use these submachine guns. Somebody was hit. Ah, a submachine gunner as well, that's annoying. Maybe I can retrieve that later. Okay. Well, this is decent submachine gun range, I would say. We have an MP40 and a PPSH. Of course, they're cowering, but <laughs> nothing ever goes right, you know that. Okay, he crawls up with the PPSH, and let's see. Okay, good start. I moved my snipers up a little bit because I think the push has kind of blocked their view too much. These guys are rushing forward, which is a bit of a risk, I guess. Okay, I think the snipers have opened up. I think Bullets fly in this direction. Lunges, lunges. I think there was something coming from that building as well, but I'm not sure. Okay, I think I might 
might have at least... Ah, oh, they're still shooting back. These will uh, keep shooting at the enemy, and these guys will move up first to the fence, and then from there through this area up until the building. I hope that this will keep them out of fire from any other position. Germans are very hard to uh, pin down, though. They kind of fight with the desperation of those who are already lost, basically. I'm kind of worried about my ammunition because uh, the partisans don't actually carry a lot, obviously. It's really hard to keep their head down. Well, I mean, I don't have any heavy weapons. Ah, crap. Another casualty. Pretty sure this will be a high casualty kind of uh, round. Okay, we took out one of theirs as well, at least. I'm pretty sure this will be the last round where I actually have PBSH ammunition. Really, my hope now is to get these guys somehow into uh, range or to throw hand grenades. We're taking MP40 fire from over there, took out another guy. I uh, took another casualty hero though. Okay. I really should uh, try to get back some of those PBSH41 set drop. The problem is, I don't know how I would go about doing that in this situation, because there's still bullet flying. Maybe if I manage to take these guys out, I'll uh, grab another casualty. Maybe then I can get back and uh, get back some of that ammunition, which is very important at this point. Snipers, I think, so far were useless, although I guess they do um, add a bit to the suppression. I have to say, these part of them, they do show a lot of gumption here. They are attacking quite vigorously. Okay, then. Happening here for the Germans. Yeah, this guy's completely out of ammo. Hopefully, he has a grenade to make himself uh, at least a little bit useful. But yeah, if I'm gonna attack, it has to be from this angle. Okay. I think we are at a point where we can maybe assault this building. Or not, that we were all going to die, but yeah. Oh, that's a. Uh, an MG34, I think. Yeah, but that wasn't in this building, it must have come from somewhere else. Well, you know, now it's too late anyway. Charge! Kill them with your empty PPSH! Okay, here we go. The Germans are suppressed, that's good. Now throw nades in, throw nades in. They're panicking, I think, I hope. Yup! Yes! Okay, okay, okay. That worked out nicely. But yeah, that machine gun is annoying to me, obviously. I don't think I can pick up their weapons. No, I can get in through here. But first I should move up more troops, because, yeah, that's where the machine gun is. I think they're actually firing at my snipers as well. Who have so far been fairly useless, I think. Okay, I will actually kind of pause here for a second, even though I don't have a lot of time. Okay, I think we shot the last guy in here through the window. I want them to catch their breath. I want to pick up some of the lost PPSHs. And I can't really run into this thing without exposing myself to all these guys, which is like a firing squad. 
especially with the machine gun that they have. So I will have to wait for a bit. The snipers will engage these. Might be that I lose the snipers, but to be honest, you know, the only thing bad about that are the points. They are not doing anything useful right now, except adding a little bit of suppression. I don't think they shot a single guy, and I rechecked actually. Okay, these guys picking up the platoon HQ, that is, picking up the PPSHs. And this guy has a Mosin, but yeah, this dude had a PPSH. So, start with the Buddy 8, guys. Alright, start with the Buddy 8, please. Uh, still some shooting going on. One of our snappers did actually get taken out uh, at, at the end of last round. These guys are looking in here. So this one is cleared, but as soon as I go in, I expose myself to these things, and uh, I don't want to do that without catching my breath first and um, also getting another automatic weapon in here. Okay, I think now he's uh, go going to do the buddy aid, hopefully retrieve the PPSH. I think the guy is actually dead. Yeah, he is. Okay, so that should be relatively quick to go. I wonder if I can find more of these. In the forest they're kind of hard to spot the dead bodies and wounded guys. So we will see about that. Yeah, buddy aid here. A little pause in the battle, sometimes that's needed. Okay, it does not look like he retrieved it. I guess it was damaged, damn it. Crap, yeah. I am kind of at a stalemate here. Um, simply because I don't think I really have the combat power to challenge that position. Now, there's another platoon in the area that should pop up soonish. And then maybe I can do something more, but until then, maybe really the best thing there is uh, to do is use the platoon HQ to, uh, you know, gather up a few weapons. I know there's another PPSH back in the, in the forest. Problem here is, of course, that um, for one thing it's kind of boring, but also the time is ticking. We will see. I think so far we took out one squad and one... Actually, we took out a platoon age here, which should uh, affect their morale quite a bit. But, yeah, there's at least one really strong position, basically the two squads and a machine gun in here. This guy is actually still alive, so we can help him, and um, I guess he has a Mosin rifle, maybe some hand grenades. But yeah, after that we really need to get that uh, submachine gun, hopefully. And yeah, I'm really waiting for those, because another platoon would be three more squads, maybe some support stuff as well, like more snipers, so we have somebody to laugh at, or, you know, maybe something useful like Maxim gun could be cool. <laughs> Because a Maxim gun in the position where my snipers are could really suppress that, and then I can advance through the building and take them out relatively safely, I would say. These guys, of course, are cold as I was just ignoring that dude here. I guess he's outside of that um, action square or whatever. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, what kind of scenario slash campaigns do you want to see? More tank stuff, infantry stuff, German stuff, Russian stuff, just let me know. So, while we're waiting for more things to go wrong, we could at least take a look at some of our forces here. So, uh, this is second squad under CISOF. I think they took the brunt of the casualties. They did have a PPSH, but as you can see, no ammo left for it. Uh, only for the normal Russian rifle caliber stuff. Including an SVT, which is, I guess, kind of good. Same thing here, no 9mm for the MP40 in Alayev's squad. And also nothing for the PPSH. They have a Mauser rifle and have 32 rounds left for that. Most of the Russian ammo is depleted. So, also not uh, amazing. Let's take a look at our very ineffective sniper. He's somewhere here in the forest, so I have to actually switch on. Ah, here we go. Yeah, one got killed. And here we have um, Shublov, who is actually elite, which is a very rare rating, so he's actually pretty good. Doesn't hit shit, though. Another thing I should maybe mention that was added to the game with this uh, expansion is snow terrain. 
Although obviously this stuff is all from the from the base game because it's in Bielorussia. But yeah, snow terrain was added. Um, Polish, well, Polish stuff was already in there. I mean, Polish um, civilian buildings and stuff. But uh, German ones are now in as well. So there is that. So let's try to retrieve that PPSH, or at least maybe the ammunition, so we can share it with the other teams. Also still waiting, although I guess now that we're at the 20 minute mark, I'm guessing maybe we will finally get that other platoon as well, and then this uh, dry spell here, in the true sense of the word, is over. So I think somewhere here is the PPSH dude who got uh, hit earlier. So yeah, try to find that. Third squad finally arrived in the weirdest spot. Uh, they didn't come out of the forest, but out here. I wonder if it's randomized actually. That would be kind of cool. But yeah, they came out here in this field, uh, which doesn't offer that much cover. So I'm rushing them forward into this depression, and then they will move slowly up this ridge here into contact. And. Um, once they are engaged with these, I will move the other guys into the building here to add to the fire from up close, and that will hopefully be enough to take them out. That being said, um, yeah, as I s well, one good thing, I think I said that they do have a DP, which gives us some long-range suppression ability. It's not a Maxim gun, but um, yeah, they also have quite a bunch of SMGs. Yeah, okay, so here they're kind of safe. I will move them up into a relatively close combat position here. So this uh, third squad is led by one Patrikeev or Patrikeev or whatever. And they're actually green, which is annoying. I guess they uh, joined recently with uh, the Germans in, uh, being defeated and so on. And of course these idiots gave the green guys the DP, but okay. Fair enough. Kind of sneaking up on them. From here I should get a good angle on them and um, will be able to at least engage them. Even if the green guys run away immediately, it should at least add some fire to that position. Would have been nice to get the submachine gun first, but the guys are still uh, working on that. I really need to move up that uh, platoon HQ though. So far the Germans haven't noticed that. Maybe they actually, uh, they actually have their gaze fixed on uh, this building here. Uh, that would of course be useful. If they don't open up on us soon, we might actually get into submachine gun range. From here, uh, well, could already do some damage with the PPSH from here. We shall see. Yeah, directly behind this. Well, the DB, DP gunner goes first, and we'll probably get sniped immediately. The platoon HQ did uh, find that wounded soldier back there, by the way. Sadly, apparently, that PPSH was also damaged, although they did manage to retrieve one um, drum magazine, so maybe they can throw that to one of the guys. I mean, that's 71 rounds of fascist killing goodness, so um, it should be at least somewhat useful. And I think they kind of automatically throw magazines to each other if they need it, so that's not something I need to take care of. So, uh, here we are kind of heating up, aren't we? We're getting into a really good kind of range here. I think we can already kind of see the building, but there's still some terrain between us. So yeah, once we crest that, we should be in contact. 
apparently there's Germans over there, which is news to me and somewhat concerning. Oh, I think they fired at my platoon HQ here. So, yeah. didn't hit anybody though. Okay, we're in position here. We have one magazine of PPSH-41 ammo. Please pass that around. I think it's time to pull the trigger on this. I think now the Germans from there are also shooting at my green guys, which is not that great. Because I first want to take out this position. So I want to open up with these on that. Move them into here to take them out at close-ish range and that will hopefully do it. Here we go! Attack! Whoa, okay. Oh! Okay, they are running away. That's new. Where's my fire support from these guys? Ah, no, they're firing, okay. The machine gunner is staying right there. Okay, and they're certainly retreating. That for a bit they will be um, vulnerable. Machine gun is firing at these retreating guys, but as I said, that group is actually green and probably won't hit shit at that range. Maybe wound some, be, uh, at least something. Well, I'm also moving up my sniper, maybe at this range he can finally do something useful. As far as I remember, I was promised another part of the platoon, but apparently that's not true. Ah, crap. Lost another guy. Okay, we're okay, here. I said machine gunner still there. Yep. And he's dead. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, I think they will escape to this new position, which is kind of annoying. At least I've got the machine gunner. Quiet. I don't think they see the enemy right now. Okay, these guys are moving up. How much ammo do they have left? 59 shots or 99? 99. Well, at least something. But only for the rifles is a problem, which isn't really what I need right now. Okay, but at least from here you can shoot on that. So if I bring the DP up to here, I might be able to get some fire superiority going and then maybe attack with the platoon HQ. Oh, they're firing back with the uh, MP40, so... Okay, uh, they reached their new position. Okay, we're skirmishing with them from this building. And obviously from now on, or to actually do something, I need to maneuver up some forces. The platoon HQ will go around here into this depression from where we can hopefully get relatively close to them through this weird building, although... Oh uh, yeah, that's not a very safe building. Then again, neither is the Germans. Uh, meanwhile... Ah, crap, I think somebody got hit here. These guys with the DP are moving up. Mm, actually, that might not have been the best idea. I kind of had hoped the Germans would shoot more at the guys shooting at them. Yeah, I think they're panicking, yeah. Yeah, panicking. But maybe that will mean they will run here into cover and uh, we can get them back online. 
and nobody shooting at my platoon HQ, which is good. Oh, platoon HQ is under fire. As soon as we're in this depression, they should be fine, though. Yep. We'll move up to this building next, stay behind it for now. Oh, they're running again, okay. When they're in the forest, they might be impossible to hold out. And then again, I do get points for just capturing the village as well, as far as I know. But also a lot of points for inflicting casualties, so there's that. Sniper, still useless, sitting at the wrong window. There's this guy, elite my ass. Maybe I can move him up here, but I think at this point it's too late anyway. Alright, here we go. Yeah, that's a bug. I think that texture has no face, or rather that wall has no textured face on this uh, side, which is kind of <laughs> embarrassing, but okay. Just imagine there's a destroyed wall here. Some machine gun fire. Oh, I think we actually got a bunch of hits on them there. Yeah, nice. But yeah, these guys will probably get away, so we did not kill all of the Germans. Okay, there's still two in that uh, just half destroyed barn. Okay, my DP has um, gotten their panties untwisted and they are advancing right now as well. I also moved up the sniper here into this broken building, but I don't think he sees anything. For a second, I thought I had um, misread the briefing, but I did actually get another platoon of partisans over here in the forest, and they will run down here to cut off these retreating Germans. They actually have an MG42 with them as well, which could be useful. But uh, yeah, I really want to take these guys out relatively quickly now. My DP is finally moved up. And I hope these um, knuckleheads will... Oh, I think I took a casualty over there. The sniper's also firing. And yeah, now the DP is firing, so I hope they will finally make themselves useful. Another casualty. I really want to keep the pressure up now. I think there were actually more jumps in there than I originally thought. Okay, we took out another one. Yeah, uh, my second platoon is moving through the forest, actually, I can show you where they are. So this is where the Germans are retreating. Uh, two of the squads are moving quickly through the forest here, in case there's some kind of weird exit zone here that they can escape from. And then I put the other one with the machine gun over here, and they will go... Actually, this is not as uh, great a position as I'd hoped, but uh, they will hopefully cut off anybody trying to escape from that building. Finally, finally that DP is uh, making itself known here. Yeah, all those buildings have untextured faces in, on the inside. And I guess it makes it easier to see uh, what's going on inside, but, well, not great. Okay, I think that those are those. Now we only have the runners over here. I think they will get far. I will now hunt towards their position and hopefully take them out. Shouldn't be that many left, to be honest. Oh, he's surrendering. Well, so he's as good as dead. Uh, surrendering to part of them is very, very, very risky. Now I wonder if he knows that only this guy <laughs> actually still has ammunition left, unless you count grenades. Okay, so now we need to 
hunt down these last guys. Okay, they are actually firing. Them. Oh, and I think they actually hit somebody as well. Yeah. Still, they are in quite a pickle. I will move up the DP as well. Into this building, maybe, and then we should. Well, there's the terrain here is a bit undulating. I think I will fire at them from the forest and these guys will move up. Okay. Okay, they're trying to get away, but I'm bringing up machine guns behind them. Okay, yeah, they're running, but uh, yeah, that direction has no cover made. Yeah, as you can see, we have a, a captured German MG42, and that should be the end of that. I think that should be the end of it. I don't think there's more left, unless we missed someone. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but... Pretty sure I cleared, uh, I moved through this basically completely. Oh, here comes the ever so useful sniper. Well, I guess there's still some firing going on. Nope, never mind, total victory. So, um, they suffered 15 men killed, 10 men wounded, and that one missing guy who will probably remain missing. We suffered five men killed, eight men wounded, and we secured obviously everything because while well, German army surrender, I don't think they had anything left. Oops, one's too many. Here we go. Yep, they're all done. Okie dokie. So my green guys here were fairly useless and they're exhausted from running away so much. The DP was kind of good once they actually got over themselves. But of course, the um, MVPs were these two squads here, second squad, um, which are rattled now, uh, the um, CSOF squad and um, Chaikin here, the platoon HQ. Um, yeah, seven M enemy casualties, these were the MVPs, veteran squad as well. So did he get, oh, in the end he did get three kills, so that's actually not bad. That must have been um, when he was shooting from this position. I wonder, earlier he was shooting from here to here, I guess because they were in cover, but yeah. The other sniper, um, I don't know if we can even find him, he was somewhere somewhere here. I don't think he got anything. These snipers usually are a bit disappointing. No, he didn't get anything, just got taken out. Is he dead actually? Yeah, uh, so, well. Uh, anyway, and then of course this squad here just came in at the end to steal all the glory, or rather this platoon. So we have um, a reg regular one, Slobin, two enemy casualties, one enemy casualty from the platoon, platoon HQ, Salamatin. Uh, actually, they suffered a casualty as well. And this, these guys, a veteran squad with the captured MG42, very nice, uh, three enemy casualties. Yeah, we wiped these out. So, that was the first scenario from the new module. I found it quite cool actually, it was uh, certainly something different because it was such a small scenario um, and you were so ill-equipped that actually running back for a PPSH-41 magazine was like a thing that made sense, so that was pretty cool. The AI was well scripted with them retreating, that actually kind of threw a monkey wrench into some of my plans here, so yeah, cool little scenario, good introduction as I said earlier. Um, tell me what you want to do. I'm pretty sure I have um, at least some time to play one more scenario and then maybe w once I have more uh, free time I might start a campaign. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.